What's up everyone? Welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be talking about what if Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks killed Super Boo. Now keep in mind, Go Tanks definitely could have killed Super Boo if he wasn't playing around so much with his opponent. And this reminds me too much of Vegito because he's too cocky and he's all acting high and mighty. If it wasn't for them doing that, there could have been a chance that they could have killed Super Boo right then and there. When they had him trapped in that ball, they should have used another super attack that would have demolished him inside the ball, hit him as quickly as possible down the ground, and he would have won at that moment. But instead, he wanted to continue playing around with his opponent instead of just facing the facts that his whole family was destroyed because of this monster and just let himself get swallowed up and decided to, you know, just dodge. Well, not dodge, you know what I mean. Like, he just decided to look behind himself really quick and boop, next thing you know, Gotenks is absorbed. And instead of him trying to key blast out of it, he's literally struggling from the goo to get it off of him. Which wasn't such a smart idea of Gotenks to do. But we also saw that they were somehow still fused and then eventually unfused, which was weird to me. But it was strange. But um yeah, there's not really much I have to say about Super Scene 3 Gotenks. I just feel like it could have ended right there if he would have stopped playing around like a kid. I know some of you guys are probably going to get triggered for me saying that, but it's true. If he wasn't being so kid, if he wasn't being so childish, he would have destroyed Super Boo. And keep in mind, he was probably just as strong as Ultimate Gohan at the time. Probably even stronger than Super Boo and Ultimate Gohan combined. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please subscribe, like, and comment. See you in the next video, everyone.